good morning 9G2. Today we're going to do a little bit of work on adding fractions and using this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways which we can go about doing that. Okay so as an example, it's the same example in your textbook, we're going to add together 3 eighths and 1 sixth. And the first way that we're going to do it is we're going to do it using equivalent fractions to find a common denominator. Okay, um, right, so we're going to use equivalent fractions to find a common denominator and add those two fractions together. And the first thing we need to do is find out what that common denominator is going to be. To do that, we need to find uh, the lowest common multiple of these two numbers, the, the denominators of the two fractions. So there's a couple of ways we can go about doing that. We could do it by uh, using um, the products of prime factors, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do it a nice simple way. What we're going to do is we're going to list the multiples of 8 and 6 until we find a, a number that's in both, both lists. Okay, so the multiples of 8, 1 8 is 8, 2 8 is 16, 3 8 are 24, 4 8 are 32, and so on. That's going to be enough. And for 6's, 1 6 is 6, 2 6 is 12, 3 6 is 18, and 4 6 is 24. And we're looking for the lowest number that appears in both lists. If we have a look at those two lists, 24 appears in both lists. Okay, so we know that our um, new denominator is going to be 24. So now we need to use equivalent fractions to convert both of those fractions into 24 fourths. Okay, so if we set it out like that, we need to remember that to find equivalent fractions, uh, we do the same thing to the top and the bottom of the fraction. Okay, so we've got 3 eighths, we're going to convert it into 24 fourths. What have we done to 8 to get 24? What do you need to do to convert from 8 to 24? Uh, from 8 to 24 we multiply by 3 because there are 3 eighths, 3 eighths in 24. So that's times by 3. If the bottom has been multiplied by 3, we do the same to the top. We need to multiply that by 3 as well. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the other fraction. Uh, we started out with, I'll just move that up a little bit. We started out with 1 sixth. We're also converting that into 24 fourths. So first thing we need to establish is what do we need to do to 6 to get 24? Uh, there are 4 6s in 24, so that's times by 4. And again we need to do the same to the top. Okay, So that's going to be times by 4 as well. So 1 times 4 is 4. Now we've converted both of our fractions uh, into equivalent fractions that have the same denominator. Okay, We've expressed both of these as a fraction in 24 fourths. Okay, so now we just need to add those two. So 9 24 fourths plus 4 24 fourths is 13 24 fourths. Okay, and that's our answer. That's the best way of, of, of doing um, the adding of fractions. Um, it can be a little bit complicated if you're unsure of what you're doing with equivalent fractions or you're unsure what you're doing um, finding the common denominator. So I'm going to show you a second method as well. Uh, this method is known as cross multiplication. Uh, or the butterfly method. Because when we carry it out it looks a little bit like a butterfly. Okay, so we're going to do the same sum again. 3 eighths plus one sixth. We call it cross multiplication because we're multiplying across the two fractions. Okay, so we're multiplying the top part of one fraction, the numerator, with the bottom part, the denominator of the other fraction. So we're going to do one times eight. We're going to do three times six. So just to make that clear, we're going to put a couple of loops on there that set that out. So one times eight, and three times six. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to multiply together. Uh, the two denominators, the two bottom numbers. When we multiply across, 
So 8 times 1, that's going to go at the top. 3 times 6, 18, that's going to go at the top. Okay, and then when we multiply the bottom, the denominators, they're going to go at the bottom. 8 times 6 is 48. Okay. And we're adding, remember. So the top part of our next section is going to be 18 and 8 because that's the, the bit that's at the top and the denominator is going to be 48 so we've got 18 over 48 plus 8 over 48 okay, if we add those together 18 plus 8 is 26 and the denominator is 48 now we've got an answer there uh, but the answer is not in simplest terms uh, the answer needs cancelling down um, and that's the, the kind of downside of, of using cross multiplication. You're always going to have to, or usually going to have to cancel down. It's quite rare that you don't need to. Um, so in this case, we need to cancel down. So we need to find a common factor of 26 and 48. They will both uh, divide by 2. 26 divided by 2 is 13. 48 divided by 2 is 24. We can look at our answer, and we know that that's in the simplest terms. 13 is a prime number. Okay, so we know that it's in simplest terms. So you've got two methods there. Uh, using equivalent fractions, that's the best way of doing it, but you do need to be able to find equivalent fractions and the lowest common multiple. And the cross multiplication method, a little bit easier to access, but you do remember that you need to cancel down at the end. Thank you.